OSPF Summary LSA or LSA Type 3 In this video I am going to talk about the LSA Type 3 or Summary LSA of OSPF You know that in a previous two videos we have talked about the OSPF Rotor LSA OSP and all OSPF Network LSA You know that in OSPF we have 11 type of LSAs Until now we have learned about two of them LSA Type 1, LSA Type 2 In this video we will learn about the OSPF Summary LSA LSA or LSA type 3. First, let me to review uh, the two previous LSA after that we can talk about the new LSA. You know that we are using LSA type 1 in, uh, for example, each routing domain that in that routing domain we are using the OSPF as the routing protocol. You know that all the routers on one, uh, for example, net enterprise should advertise, okay, one LSA type, one, one LS, one router LSA, okay. This means that if you have, uh, for example, four router, you will have four router LSA. If you have five router in one area, you will have five router LSA, okay. If you have 10 router in one area, you will have 10 router LSA, okay, or LSA type one. After that, we have learned about the LSA type 2 and we know that for each transit network means for each network that on that network we are using the we are selecting the DR and BDR okay we will have one LSA type 2 actually the DR means designated router should advertise one LSA type 2 okay and this means that for each transit and wrote in for each transit network we will have one LSA type 2 okay or one network LSA actually in one in this network as you can see we have only one transit network because of that we have one LSA type 2 and this LSA type 2 should be advertised by the uh, for example DR the rotor 3 okay let me uh, to write here again the LSA type 2 of the rotor 3 this is the rotor 3 then here we have LSA type 2 after that we will have DR IP address let me to write here DR IP DR IP is the 172.16.1.3 after that we have this information okay first the mask of this network is slash 24 after that the attached rotors let me to write here and here uh, we will have three attached rotors attached then rotors first is the rotor one or rotor two quad two then rotor three quad three and after that rotor four here we have attached rotors rid okay and after that you know that when we are using only one area okay in that area we will have lsa type 1 and maybe lsa type 2 if we have the network the transit network we will have lsa type 2 if we don't have transit lsa we will have only lsa type 1 now the next question is that how when how we should use the lsa type 3 the answer is when you are using one L one ospf network with multiple area i'm going to show you the usage of the lsa type 3 assume that here we have one rotor rotor 5 i'm going to configure to rotor 5 the rotor 5 in another area assume that here we are using this area structure this is the area zero okay and in this area zero we have these networks i'm going to add the rotor 5 and also let me uh, to say that and here r1 can be uh, one of the, uh, the abrs or if you want you can use r3 as the abr assume that the r3 is the abr and then r3 connected to another area for example in the area to the area one with only one router the uh, one rotor rotor 5 this is our new uh, scenario and in this scenario, I'm going to show you the function of the uh, LSA type 3. In this area, area 0001, okay, we have only one rotor. Let me to show you here. And after that, uh, the rotor 3 now is our ABR. Let me to connect the rotor 3 to the rotor 5, okay, with the serial 11 one to the uh, serial 10. After that, the fast Ethernet 00 of the rotor 5 can be connected to the uh, this switch okay that's it this is our new rotor let me to enable this rotor okay after that and here we have this ip address this range of ip address 10 c 10 5 0 0 slash 24 
okay and then here in the link between the uh, router 3 and also uh, router 5 we have the range of 10 3 5 0 slash 24 you know that this is the serial 1 1 okay and this is the serial 1 0 of the router 5 let me to add this link after that we can talk about the lsa type 3 okay in when you are using multiple area okay you will have the lsa type 3 okay but when you are using one area in your network uh, you will have only lsa type 1 and type 2 okay let me first add this router to the uh, to the topology this is the r3's configuration en conf d first we should configure the serial 11 with the ip address 10353255255550 and then no shutdown and also let me to add this interface to the ospf1 area 0001 that's it okay now we have the router tree as the abr if you want you can check the show ip protocol in the show ip protocol you can see that it is an area border router router tree is our abr then let me uh, to uh, connect to the router 5 this is the router 5 here we have one serial interface interface serial 10 ip address of this interface is 10355255255250 and then no shutdown after that we have interface fast ethernet 00, zero ip address is 10505255255250 and then no shutdown let me to enable ospf on this router router ospf1 router id is for example quad 5 and then we have two network statement 10355 quad 0 area then 0001 and after that the network uh, 10505 quad 0 again areas 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 okay 0, 0, 0, 0001 that's it this is our configuration you know that now we have neighborship between the router 5 and router 3 show ip root uh, or show ip ospf neighbor can show us in router 5 we have neighborship with the router 3 okay now let me to talk about what is happening about the lsa first you know that in the area zero again we have four rotor lsa or four lsa type one let me to write here four rotor lsa and also we will have one network lsa because here we have one transit network okay but in the area one also we will have some rotor lsa but here we don't have any network lsa why the reason is that as you can see here we don't have transit network because of that we will have only the rotor lsa's okay here we have two rotor lsa okay why because we have two rotor the first rotor is rotor 2 the second rotor is the rotor 5 you know that rotor 2 is one of the members of both area actually in the rotor 2 lsa type 1 now we have two part the first part is uh, for the uh, for example area 0 and the second part for the area 1 it is so obvious okay let me to show you how we can uh, for example uh, talk about the lsa type 1 of the area 1 in the router 3 look at here uh, let me to add it uh, under the lsa type 1 of the router 3 uh, for area 0 here we have only two line in the lsa type 3 of the router 3 the first line let me to reduce the, the font size a little the first line uh, here uh, uh, can uh, notify that i am connected uh, to the 10350 slash 24 and this is one of the stop network look at here 10350 slash 24 with the cost of 64 okay and this is a stop this is the first statement and also let me to add it here again with the interface ip of the uh, for example 10353 okay 10353 means the rotor 3's ip address okay i am connected to the rotor 5 means quad 5 that's it now we have the lsa of type lsa the new lsa type 1 from the rotor 3 in this area area 1 
Also about the router 5. Let me to show you the LSA type uh, LSA type 1 of the router 5. Here we can write it. This is the LSA type uh, type uh, 1 of the router 5. The RID is quad 5, okay? Then here we have the information about the 10350. Let me to remove this part. Look at here 10350 slash 24 with the cost of 64 and this is a stop is a stop in link and with the interface ip of 10355 i am connected to the rotor 3 that's it or quad 3 okay this is our information in the rotor 5 it is so easy look at here with the 10355 okay here you can see this information we have connected to the rotor tree also we have one another line the next line considers this interface 10 5 0 0 slash 24 with the cost of one oh, okay and this is stop that's it here now we, we we have this lsa type one these two lsa type one actually in this area area one we have two rotor lsa and we don't have any network lsa because here we don't have any transit network but in the area quad zero we have four rotor lsa and also we have one network lsa you know that the LSA type 1 of one area and also the area LSA type 2 of one area cannot send to other areas. For example, we have LSA type 1 of the area 0 or quad 0 in rotor 3 and also LSA type 2. But the rotor 3, okay, doesn't send these two LSAs to the other area because in these two LSA we have topological information and topological information should not be sent from one area to another area. Also, about the area 1, now we have LSA type 1 of this area and the rotor 3 received the LSA type 1 of the area 1, for example, from R5 from itself, but it doesn't send the LSA type 1 of area 1 to the area 0. You know it. Until now, we know that in the uh, topology view of the area uh, quad 0, we have this diagram this topology you know it okay actually now if the rotor 4 is, is receiving traffic assume that the rotor 4 is receiving any traffic to the destination of the uh, for example 10 5 0 10 okay the rotor 4 doesn't have any pass to this destination you know that 10 5 0 10 is residing in another area in the area 1 and the rotor 4 as you can see now doesn't know anything about the area 1 okay because of that the traffic should be dropped it is obvious okay how we can inform the rotors rotor 1 rotor 2 rotor 3 and rotor 4 about the networks that are available in another area this is the functionality of the abr one of the functions of the abr is informing okay the for example areas connected to the abr about the networks that are available in each area don't forget that this is not topology information this is the only network the network information how let me to talk about that with lsa type 3 in LSA type 3, okay, we have um, uh, uh, a little number of information because of that we call, we call it summary LSA. In the LSA type 3, we have the ABR rotor ID and also we have the one network address and network and mask. I will talk about that and also one cost value or metric value. What does it mean? Let me to show you. You know that R2, R3 is our ABR okay and r3 knows about the area one r3 can create okay two lsa type 3 why because here we have only two network r3 should create two lsa type 3 or summary lsa okay and after that these two lsa type 3 should inject it to the area one area zero in this L2 LSA type 3, we have this information. In the first LSA type 3, we have in this information 10350-24 is reachable from me with the cost of 64. Then 64, okay? And also the network 10500-24 is reachable from me with the cost of 65. You know that 
The cost of ABR means the rotor tree uh, to the 10350-24 is 64 and the cost of ABR to the 10500-24 is 65. Actually, the rotor tree are in, is informing the other rotors about its connect its uh, for example networks uh, or uh, its net the network inside the area one but it doesn't send any topological information actually after these two lsa type 3 receiving by the other rotors the wrote the view of the topology inside of the area zero is like this topology but all of the rotors know about these uh, two new information that from the rotor tree let me to show you here uh, we have this information from the rotor tree we can reach to two network with this cost value let me to uh, show you here as you can see we don't have any a topological information actually we know only the two network address and also one cost value the first network address is the 10 3 okay 5 10 3 5 0 slash 24 10 3 5 0 slash 24 with the cost of 64 this is the first information after that the next information is the 10 5 0 0 slash 24 again with the cost of 65 what does it mean it means that if the rotor 4 receives the traffic with destination of 10 5 0 10 okay it should send it to the rotor tree that's it it doesn't know about the topology after the rotor tree but it knows that if the traffic sent, uh, received to the abr to the rotor uh, for example tree the rotor tree can send this traffic toward to the destination and it is so uh, simple maybe you ask me why we should know about the metric uh, from the rotor tree because it is possible that you have two abr or three abr to one area you should find which abr it has the better path to the uh, different destination for example assume that here we have one abr connected to 10500 you can use that abr for reaching to the 10500/24 instead of the rotor 3 okay this is now this is the view of the rotor 1 rotor 2 rotor 3 rotor 4 about all networks the, all of them know about their topology and also all of them are know about the uh, for example um, networks that they uh, they can reach to that network to those networks from the abr maybe you ask me what is the view of the area one rotors to uh, to the uh, for example other uh, si uh, other um, areas or areas such as the area zero it is so simple let me to show you look at here uh, let me to show you this view uh, here uh, with a smaller topology assume that this is the rotor 5 it is so easy because here we have only two rotor okay this is the rotor 5 and also this is the rotor 3 that's it and uh, with the lsa type one that they are advertising to each other they know that they have connected directly to each other okay this is the view of the rotor 5 and then here we are using this range let me to write here the range is 10 3 5 0 slash 24 and after that the rotor id of the rotor this rotor is quad 5 and then the rotor id of the rotor 3 is quad 3 okay also the rotor 5 okay connected uh, to one stop network the, st the range of this address is 10 3 10 5 0 0 slash 24 also uh, the cost of connectivity uh, to this network is one let me to show you this is one and here we have the cost of 64 also here we have the cost of 64 that's it and also you know that until now we have only information about our area this is the topology from the view of rotor 5 okay but Again, this is the ABR that should send all of uh, networks that it knows in the area 0 to the area 1 with the LSA type 3. Let me to show you. Okay, here uh, we will have multiple LSA type 3. Why? Because you know that here we have multiple networks. For example, about the, LS the LSA type 3s, we will have this information. In one LSA type 3, rotor 3 should this information. I have connected to 10300 slash 24 with the cost or metric of one this network okay after that let me to add another to show you another lsa type 3 all of them should be sent only from the 
uh, for example abr again i have connected to the 172.16.10 slash 24 172.16.10 slash 24 with the cost of one that's it then the next lsa type 3 the next lsa type 3 may be for 10400 slash 24 let me to show you here we have this information 10400 slash 24 reachable with the cost of two one plus one okay then uh, from the we have connectivity to, to also 10 uh, for example 200 slash 24 with the same cost cost two also we have connectivity uh, here in the uh, for example router two or router three uh, to the 10100 slash 24 the best cost to this network is 65 let me to write here 65 also we should send another lsa type 3 uh, for example for the 10120 slash 24 10120 slash 24 this network reachable with the cost of again 65 also let me to use it here and after that the next lsa type 3 about the uh, 1013 slash 0 1030 1130 24 with the cost of 64 okay and actually here we have one two three four five six seven network because we should send seven lsa type three that's it in this area in the area one we will have two lsa type one okay and seven lsa type three but here you will have four lsa type one one lsa type two and also two lsa type three let me to show you first in the router one we can verify the database this is the router one show ip ospf database as you can see we have four lsa type one one lsa type two two lsa type three in the router five the new router okay show ip ospf database we have two lsa type one and seven lsa type three and we don't have any lsa type two as we expected now let me to verify the content of the LSAs first let me to say that again you you have learned about it when you want to verify the LSA type 3 content you should use show IP OSPF database the LSA name summary okay and then if you want to verify one specific LSA type 3 you should use the LSA ID you know that LSA ID in the LSA type 1 is the rotor ID of the advertiser rotor LSA ID in the LSA type 2 is the DRIP address LSA ID in the LSA type 3 is the network address of the LSA type 3 for example you can use this command show IP OSPF database summary then for example if uh, uh, you want to see a uh, 10100 slash 10100 lsa type 3 you should use 10 1 10 5 0 0 okay for 10 5 0 0 we can use 10 5 0 0 and this is the command that we can use it okay let me to show you uh, this information inside the lsdb here in the rotor run okay we have this information about the lsa type 1 and lsa type 2 we don't have any change but if now we are talking about the lsa type 3s show ip ospf database summary okay means lsa type 3 then 10350 slash 24 10350 the network id the link state id or lsa id look at here as you can see we have this information first i am the rotor 3 quad 3 here you can see the rotor id is quad 3 then i have connectivity to 10350 slash 24 with the cost of 64 as you can see here okay this is the first information about the area one again show ip ospf data some data, database summary for 10500 again I am rotor 3 or quad 3. I have connectivity to 10500 slash 24 with the metric of 65. That's it. Okay. Let me to show you the content of our five database. Show IP OSPF database. First, let me uh, to show you uh, in the rotor 5, uh, show IP OSPF database. First, let me to show you the content of LSA type 1 show ip ospf database okay rotor lsa means the lsa type one received from the quad three okay 
In the quad tree, means rotor tree, we have this information. You can see it here. We have only two lines because in this area, the rotor tree, okay, only should say that I have connectivity to the 10350 slash 24 with the cost of 64 in this line. This is a stop network and also with 10353, this is interface IP of the ABR. I have connectivity to the quad 5 and for example with the cost of 64, that's it. Also about the LSA type 1 of rotor 5, we have this information. Look at here. Again, I have connectivity to the stop network 10500 slash 24 with the cost of 1. Also with the 10355 my interface IP, I have connectivity to the quad 3 with the cost of 64. And finally, I have connected to 10350 slash 24 with the mask of 20, um, with the metric of 64. That's it. Okay as I mentioned before. Also, let me to show you the content of database again. Now we can uh, talk about the LSA type trees. As you can see, all of these LSAs are advertised from the rotor tree because the rotor tree is the ABR. Show IP OSPF database summary means LSA type tree. For 10100, okay, look at here. Uh, first, uh, let me to say that here you can see that the Quad tree uh, means the ABR advertised this information and uh, the first information related to 10100 slash 24 with the metric of 65. You can find it here 10100 look at here 10100 slash 24 with the cost of 65 okay or metric of 65 again show IP OSPF database for 10120 you can uh, follow me from here 10120 look at here again we have uh, I am the quad tree and I have connectivity to 10120 slash 24 with the cost of 65 look at here 10120 slash 24 this net for cost is 65 it is okay then show IPOS with database show IPOS with database summary for 10130 look at here and I have connectivity to the 10130 slash 24 with the cost of 64. Here we have this information. Yes, 10130 slash 24 with the cost of 64. It's okay. Then show IP OSPF database summary. Okay, for 10, uh, for example, 200. As you can see, the cost is 2, 10200 slash 24. The cost is 2. As you can see here, we have 10200 slash 24 cost is 2. Then, show IP OSPF database summary, uh, for example, for another network, okay, database uh, summary for the next network, net 10300, okay, 10300, and here you can see the metric is 1, 10300 slash 24, the metric is 1, this LSA type 3, the first LSA type 3, after that 10400, Okay, metric is two. Here you can see 10400 with the cost of two. And finally, the 172. Okay, a 1610. Here we have the metric one. Okay, 172, 1610. The metric is one. As you can see now, we have these two view in different rotors. In R1, R2, R3, and R4, we have this view okay about the area zero but in the rotor five and rotor three okay we have this view about the area uh, for example one you know that in uh, the area one we know that from the rotor three we can reach to this network 10 300 slash 24 with the cost of one also at uh, 172 16 one zero slash 24 again with the cost of one also uh, let me to add it here this is important for us to have to learning about the, the the detail of lsa's it is so important for other uh, functions of the uh, ospf 10400 slash 24 the cost is two again uh, 10200 slash 24 the cost is two again 10100 slash 24 the cost is 65 and after that 10120 slash 24 okay the cost is 65 and finally 10130 slash 24 the cost is 64 that's it okay two different view as you know each rotor doesn't doesn't know about all topology but all of them can use this information to sending traffic to the other sides of the network don't forget that the abr is creating the lsa type 3 
okay other routers only should use the lsa type 3 about the lsa type 3 we have some other detail you will learn about them in this video we have learned about the lsa type 3's functionality you know that when you have multiple area you will see the lsa type 3 in single area design we don't have any lsa type 3 and this is the functionality of the next type of the lsa's as you saw until now in each step when your network is growing actually when your ospf network is growing including multiple area including transit networks we will experience the uh, other types of the lsa for example in the next video you will learn about the lsa type 5 okay and after that you will learn about the lsa type 4 don't worry about the lsa type 4 first you should learn about the lsa type 5 why we don't have lsa type 5 here because we don't have the condition that that we need the LSA type 5. In the next video, you will see in some scenarios, we need to add the LSA type 5, okay? And step by step, you will learn about the other LSAs. Again, it's your time. You need to review all of the concepts and also the verifications in this video. You should draw the scenario. And after that, you will learn about the LSA type 3. Also, you know that in each video, actually we are reviewing the previous lsa's lsa type 1 type 2 now lsa type 3 okay we will need them okay for understanding the lsa uh, type 5 and also the future lsa types because of that after completing the learning about the lsa type 3 please come with me to the next video i am going to talk about the next type of lsa in the ospf lsa type 5 or external lsa